Hey, fairy grasshoppers, it's Bridget. Nice to see you. I have a card reading for you today. We're going to be using this deck. Oh yes, the 13 Moon Oracle card deck. I'll post a link below. This is a, a mega divine feminine deck. It has, um, it's based on 13 different archetypes. And so it's a, it's a powerful deck for me personally. I do um, find this useful. So if you're connected to divine feminine energy, this might be something you might enjoy as well. I like the size of the cards and because they're tall. They're taller than some other cards. And there's not tons and tons of them. So it feels good. Let's get some, just some simple inspiration today for what is motivating us. Let's ask about motivation. So if we can get some guidance on motivation, this is one. Again, these are archetypes, so they will feel like goddess energies. And then supportive tools as well. So symbols, you can get symbols, maybe a sacred geometry shape or something like that. Or maybe an element will show up a color, that kind of thing. Maybe it's just one. Mm, this one might be a, yep, this one. Oh, that's a nice one too. That's a nice one too, okay. So here's the first one to motivate us. It says catalyze. Wow, the tool of lightning, which is light. Transform, ignite, reveal, burn away, and awaken. Look at that. Wow, look at that. Catalyze, lightning, where lightning strikes. To me, this is alchemy. So use this to help motivate you by taking maybe some energy that's been painful or stagnant, not at all inspiring, and use it as fuel. Burn it in the fire. Connect into that cauldron, that low, low belly space, and turn that energy of that sacral chakra flame into a fire that inspires you, that motivates you into your being, all right? So this is about change. This is about the power to transmute energy, to change something alchemically that feels negative or bad into something powerful. So take your pain and create purpose with it. Use it to fuel some new dreams and new desires for you. If you've been struggling, you're stagnant or status quo, oh good God, awful experience to have a status quo energy. Ask for the light to come through. It could be through the fire element deep inside. It could be this energy of light that sparks an inspiration, an idea, using your mind's eye, the energy of your brain, and that third eye chakra visualization, or that crown chakra. So when you're working with the mind to spark an idea, you could use your third eye, the visual channel, that gorgeous night mystical sky energy of starlight. You can use your crown chakra, all the ancient, divine feminine, spiritual guides, goddesses, saints, deities, totem animals that have served you previously, star guide energies, elementals, the fairies, whoever, however you have been served as a spirit in your multiple lifetimes, bring that wisdom in and let it just sprinkle some light on the top of your head, just tingles on the top of the head to bring some fresh energy in, to spark some light inside, ideas in that mind, to give you some creative space, to expand out of the status quo, to maybe get a job idea or offer. Maybe you end up starting your own business. Maybe you start some kind of side hustle because that is something that is within you. Maybe you mend a relationship. Maybe you reach out to someone from the past. Maybe you actually make a decision to start something new and different. Maybe you start a new habit that's healthy for you. Maybe you decide to move or maybe you take action to start researching a new move. Whatever it might be, catalyze the energy that is available to you. Use that light energy of the lightning and the fire energy as well. So fire and light here. Transform, ignite, reveal, burn away, awaken. This is a lot. You can, you can meditate on this. You can use your journal to write on this. There's a lot of good energy here. Good, good energy. <laughs> Very nice. And then with that, we have a spiritual guide, the goddess of 
compassion. Ooh, I recognize, I see, this is perfect for right now. This is a great springtime card, isn't it? I recognize, I see. The energy here is very sweet. It's lavender, lilac, purple. That kind of reminds me of the springtime. It's like a softer energy. When I see lavender, lilac, kind of a, a purpley, light grayish purple energy, I feel like Archangel Metatron and his healing capacities and how he helps with alignment. So if you have challenges with your own compassion for yourself, ask Archangel Metatron to work with you. Usually I'll suggest this to clients before you go to bed at night, ask Metatron to realign you. He is a brilliant energetic chiropractor. So go ahead and invite him in. The, the goddess of compassion shows up in many forms. So it might be Lady Kuan Yin for you. It might be a Mother Mary energy. It could be Mother Teresa. It could be a whole host of different compassionate energies. A Saint Francis of Assisi feels very compassionate in his energy. Um, so whoever that looks like for you, whatever face of the goddess for you, just attune with that, align with that energy. The words are compassion, Forgiveness, mm, that's a powerful one, forgiveness. And that's just about allowing energy to flow, not blocked, not being status quo, but just letting it flow. It's not something you're giving to somebody else or you're totally changing for yourself. When I say forgiveness and the compassion energy with the goddess of compassion, it's just about flow. It's about opening up flow. It's about softening a, a stagnant, hard status quo energy. It's just about softening that, okay? Empathy, empaths, that's what we are right in our heart chakra. That's how you and I are connecting. That's why you and I connect because you're an empath. So am I, which means we feel. That's why you resonate with my work here on Fairy Grasshopper. That's why you resonate with my work on Above Life channel on YouTube as well. Acceptance. Acceptance isn't about liking what is. It's about just saying what is. This is what is. It's, it's an energy of of not having to fight something that you don't need to fight. Like it's, it's an awareness, acceptance is an awareness of not wasting your energy, okay? Unconditional love. Oh my gosh, unconditional, let's start the, let's start listing the unconditioning, okay? Let's start listing the ways that we can love by releasing layers upon layers upon layers of conditions. Conditions show up as circumstances, as repeated patterns in relationships, as the energy of victimhood or this feeling of the world is against me or, or this, this waiting or anticipation, this one's mine for sure, waiting or anticipation of the other shoe to drop, this feeling of something bad's gonna happen because good things have been happening. Things have been okay for a while, so now what bad is coming next? That's a, that's a condition. So let's uncondition so that love can flow. Just like with forgiveness, love is just an energy to flow. If you think of it that way, just as a form of energy and as a flow state, it's way more simple, okay? And you deserve that. These are very different. These are dramatically different cards, let me just say. But they work together. So when I think of compassionate energy, I think of the water element. So we've got water, we've got light, we've got fire. We've got a lovely array of alchemical tools for you today in this particular card reading. This is from, again, the 13 Moon Oracle deck. 13 Moon Oracle deck. And I will list that below and share that with you. This is Bridget. Thanks so much for being here, for being part of the community here on the Fairy Grasshopper YouTube channel where I share lots of different things intuitive to inspire your spirit, to fill you with hope. Because the point is to encourage you to live your best life to really live your life, right? Just to live it. It's yours, it's yours, so live it, just live it. Thanks so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you never miss a new video here. Thanks for being here.